what you believe creates your results. I'm going to say it even in a different way. What you believe shapes your destiny. Ooh, that's powerful. So that means it's not enough to know what you want, to daydream, to wish, to want, to hope for something. It's not enough. We have to build our belief. Now, how do you do that? Well, first of all, you'll hold the idea of what you want. You need a perfect vision for your future. That's step number two. And then second, you are going to repeat that vision in meditation, in your walks in the woods, laying in your bathtub, you know, wherever you can, driving your car, you are going to repeat that vision. You kind of repeat the idea of the dream you want to create. And you are going to stir it with positive feelings. It means that you have to hold that idea and repeat that idea until you feel how it is to live that idea. And if you do that often enough, you will see that your belief systems are going to shift. You are going to start believing that you can create that future. The problem is that most people don't want to take the effort. They don't want to do the work. They just wish, want something, hope for something, and then they forget about it. I'm going to tell you guys, it's a daily job. It is constant work. It's in consistency that you build a new future. Now, you're going to build a future anyways, right? We all hope that we live tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and next month and next year and within 10 years. So you can stay where you are. Nothing's going to change. I'm telling you, you have a belief system today that was created in the past that creates your life today. That's right. You have the life today because you believe you can have the life today. <laughs> it's not an, an, a coincidence. It was not shaped by default. You know, you have the life because you believe that you can have this life. Now, if you want to grow beyond the life that you are currently living, the results that you are having, the relationships that you built, you know, the circumstances that you live in, you will have to do the work. Number one. Create a crystal clear vision for your future. Number two, sit and daydream about that future. Close your eyes and visualize it over and over and over and over again until you can feel that you can live that future. That is where the real work comes in. And over time, you're going to see that your belief systems are going to change. And then, last but not least, you will have to act upon that vision. You will have to act and behave in the direction of that dream, of the life that you have imagined. And once you build upon that belief system, of course, it is much easier to behave in the direction of your dreams and in the direction of the life that you have imagined. Love yourself enough just to do the work every day. And I promise you, by law, your life is going to change.